Test, test. Yes, good. Audio is working. Audio for that's working. Hooray! Audio is working all around. Stream is live. Here we go. <laughs> There's my chat window. Good evening, everybody. Oops, that's not the window I want. That's the window I want. And this window. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Dumb Ways to Die. We are playing Quest for Infamy. Which, as you are, I'm sure, aware by now, is an indie game made as a sort of a uh, parody slash homage of Quest for Glory. Which is one of my all-time favorite uh, game series ever. So, let's see. What were we doing? Oh yeah, I just uh, robbed a guy, basically. <laughs> yeah. Um, what? Oh, I actually have not turned it in yet. I believe. It's the ring you took from the slave trader. Oh, right, right, I killed that guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot. Yeah, I totally killed the dude. <laughs> um, this is the key to the Killington family yeah. crypt. Awesome, eh? Right. So I am currently uh, forced to work for um, Rayford, who, as everyone keeps calling him, is a bastard. And uh, he, I basically, like he, he basically caught me in the Killington family crypt standing over the dead body of um, Mr. Hummel, who we learned is actually the remain the, the last, the sole surviving Killington. And he wanted to get the Eye of Yager uh, in order to restore the glory of his family name. And Rayford basically showed up and was like, oh, hey, you killed that guy. And I'm like, no, I didn't. And he's like, well, I'm going to take this Eye of Yager for reasons and you're gonna do what I say or else I'm going to throw you in jail forever basically and I'm like oh, I guess I have no choice so yeah we're, we're working for Rayford now um, and he just had me kill a guy uh, fortunately that guy deserved to die because he was a slaver in um, in Tyr who we learned about a while ago but we couldn't do anything about him but uh, we just did he's dead now <laughs> fuck that guy so now we can um Turn it in. Turn in our quest. Here, a slaver's ring. I hope the bastard squealed like a pig. Something like that. Not really. It did say you could suck his. <laughs> Never mind. He's dead, and that is good. <laughs> You've done well so far, and now, well, we just have one simple task to do, and you can be on your way. Really? Finally, working for you is bad for my health. It's true. I did die a couple times while doing that uh, last job. And you know I'm very concerned about that. <laughs> I think you might be growing a sense of humor, right? Oh. Unlikely. <laughs> In any event, the Maroi have become troublesome to the valley. I believe it was them who took the bridge over the Great River out. I need you to find a way into their fortress and kill their leader. Huh. Okay. Was that all? <laughs> Be careful. Word is they practice human sacrifice on intruders that would do them harm. I'll be sure to wear my fireproof underpants. <laughs> you know the ones that you get from uh, you buy from the World of Wonders on Flea Putt. I don't care what you do. Once he's gone, the rest of the plebes will disperse like rats. And then you can go free on your merry way. Just don't come back here. I am amenable to this agreement. <laughs> Good. Now have fun getting in. They don't like visitors, I hear. Unannounced ones. Right. Alrighty. Yeah! New chair! I don't know how much you can see of it. It's not very exciting. But it's comfy, and it's uh, not falling apart like my old one, so I'm happy about it. 
Get on with taking out the Maroi leader like Rayford asked you to do. Oh, to even talk to him. All right, fine. Yeah. <laughs> That's good enough. <laughs> okay, so I still haven't figured out a way to get past that um, barrier thingy. But I had an idea for how to do it, so let me go try that idea. Because I have not given that a try yet. I'm still really, um... I'm still curious about these other spells that I don't have yet. I'm also curious about how I'm supposed to get into the... Fisherman's, um... Shack. Oh, shit. Uh, hi, guys. You see a group of self-flagellating Maroi clerics. They're in no way creepy at all. Right. Well, that's not creepy at all. Neat. I should probably follow them. Actually, I'm going to talk to Udo first, see if he has anything new to say. Hi, Udo. Well, I've heard Reefords a little upset about a troublemaker in the South Woods. Oh, we did that already. He said he makes powerful drinks. You know, moonshine. I've also noticed more of those strange cultists, the Morai, around the valley. Some were even in town the other day. It's always some... Well, some time ago, they moved into the old ruins of the keep on top of the hill to the northeast. They've been really secretive, but not disruptive. But lately, they've been coming into town more, and there's some who give the oddest sermons before beating themselves across the backs with whips and chains. They are crazy, if you ask me. Yeah. Goodbye, Mr. Rome. <laughs> it's a Romstein video, I know, right? <laughs> God. <laughs> I can see, I can just, I can totally picture that in my mind's eye, too. <laughs> Romstein. Yeah? How can I help you? Uh, no, yeah, you got nothing to say. Hey, you take well, yeah, I guess they, they fucked off, so... Hmm. All right. Well, anyway, um, let's do this. You pull out. Uh, you head uh, up to. Yeah, Northwoods. The forest. Oops. No, I want to go south, then west. Yeah, there's, uh, like I was saying, there's still some, some spells that I don't have, and I'm not sure what I, have to, what I have to do to get them. Oh! I don't think I've seen that video. Ooh, now I have to go look it up. Ooh. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. I gotta go around down this way. I like Rammstein. They're cool. <laughs> I know looking at me, you probably wouldn't think that they're a band that I like, but I do. <laughs> I like to weird people out by singing Rammstein songs at karaoke. Because again, looking at me, you wouldn't expect Rammstein to come out of my mouth. But I can do it in German, too. It's fun. Uh, wait. Oh! Oh, there's the a spider! Feels... Hi, spider! You could feel some. It's been a while since I fought a spider. Uh, fire! Shut on. Still too. Have, some spi have some fire, spider. Damn it. Good, yeah. Ow. Spiders still hurt. Jeez. Yeah, 
Yeah. Bastard, isn't it? I'll take your venom sack. The spider. Ha and you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and drink a healing potion because I've got a million of them. You were carrying. Yeah. <laughs> you drink the healing. Sweet. Okay. Um, this is not the direction I wanted to go. I don't think. But. Uh... Yeah, that's for sure. Also, hello, Dr. Hugo Z. Hackenbush. Hello, hello. It was, um, I, I, lear I, I did learn a, a, a phrase, a German phrase from a Rammstein video, uh, not video, from a song. Wait a minute. I guess this is the way I want to go. Wait, I'm confused. Which way? Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. What? It's a bear. It is a bear. Is the bear going to attack me? Oh god, it is gonna attack me! Shit! Okay. You could feel That's a terrifying looking bear. Ow. Alright. I have never run into enemies in the North Woods before. Weird. I wonder what happened. Nothing. A bastard had nothing. After you took all that effort to kill him. Pathetic. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so the, I, I learned a phrase from the song um, Ich tu de weh um, uh, and it was like oh yeah, so the, 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 the correct phrase is uh, de, uh, or like uh, it's, it's the, the agony of choice and it's like I forget what it is. It's it's like de de, de uh, qual de val or val. It's, it's one of the. Th so okay. So Ictu de Ve uses the uses the lyri the lyric um. Like. In in you I have the choice of agony because it's the, it's the song's about torture basically, um. And so it it, it takes the, the the German phrase the agony of choice and switches it around the choice of agony. So. I thought that was clever. <laughs> See, by dir habe ich die Val de Qual, I think, is the choice of agony. So it's Qual de Val is the original, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not getting those mixed up. If you actually speak German or remember the line better than I do, <laughs> please, please, please fix my errors. <laughs> Your mother's a bear. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to have killed her. <laughs> I mean or one of her kin, or something. Uh, okay, so my thought here... You decide. So, what we learned from Tyr is that uh, the runes here mean uh, is there a way in, I believe. So, I think what I want to do is there is a way in, and then switch that around. That seems to be it. Yes! The force field is off! Yay, I was right! Awesome! Yeah! <laughs> hey, Grit Star! Sweet. I can't believe that worked. Well, I can believe that worked, but I'm I'm pleasantly surprised that that worked. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> Hacker voice. <laughs> You notice the intricate. Oh hi. This is probably where I'm gonna need that robe. Uh, I'm gonna need to dye it green. I didn't do it previously because I was like, I'm, I'm gonna wait until I actually have a reason to do this. That's right. Yes. I. I yeah. I, I can't believe I forgot. Like the classic one, Du Hast. Uh, and then the whole song is like a play on marriage vows. Which is why I want I want that song to play at my wedding. <laughs> For the lulls. <laughs> the majesty of the scenery is really undercut by the creepiness of what the Maroi have done with the place. The old fortress is crumbling, but somehow the Maroi have managed to move in and make it their own. The old fortress... 
The old <laughs> good. The old f <laughs> The old f The Majesty He's wearing the fashionably green robes of the Maroi. He doesn't look creepy or suspect at all. The magic the the it's a large door. He Hello. stares at you intently, and it creeps you out. He stares. Okay. Don't touch him, really. That robe looks flea bitten. I don't suppose I can just waltz on in, can I? You have reached. Of course. <laughs> One second while I delete a bunch of save games. Oh yeah, totally smooched on Kayana. Do do do, deleting save games. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Well, whatever. Fine. You can't just walk in through the front door if you try to kill their leader. Try blending in a bit or try to find another entrance. <laughs> well, I do know that there is another entrance. Um, it's in the swamp. And I also know I have a way to blend in. I wonder, I'm curious, what will happen if I do this? Oops, not that. <laughs> uh, nope, not that either. What happens if I try to scare them? Probably nothing. What a waste of- oh, okay. Did nothing. All right. I'm still... Yeah, God, those other spells that I don't have are driving me nuts. And also the uh, the fact that, like, Prospero said he wanted me to take care of a necromancer, and I have not seen a necromancer anywhere. Wait, where am I going? Uh, I want to use my map. You pull up. I want to go to tier. You decide to... You there, lady. I have this white robe that I would like you to dye for me. I've got the robes and the stuff you require to dye them. Excellent, sir. It won't take but a moment to dye the robes for you. Oh, I expected they would take time to dry or something. Oh, no. I have techniques that avoid such hassles. Tara takes the artichoke and white robes oh. from you and proceeds to undertake her dyeing process. I didn't even know she needed an artichoke, but okay. <laughs> Slowly, the robes turn from white to pale green, then to a green that would match any Maroi robes. Here you go, sir. Green robes. Just don't wash them for a day so the dye sets in completely. Cool. Hello there. Hello, sir. Maybe that's in green. Like those robes, those Murray wear. I totally, like, didn't have this conversation with her. A strange request. Why would you want to wear something to resemble the Murray? Reasons. Totally legitimate reasons. It brings out the color in my eyes. <laughs> it most certainly would. Green is not a color I dye clothing often, and I am all out of the dye. Of course you are. <laughs> I get a feeling no one in this land has anything in stock when I need it. I wouldn't know about that, sir. All I need to get for you, if I want it, is something dyed green. I would need an artichoke. I'm sure there's a trader who could sell you such. 
Unless the garment you wish died, of course. Because you would be helping me with obtaining the dye, I'll give you a discount. Only 300 blies. 300 blies? That seems excessive. If you could find someone else who can undertake the task as skilled as I, I would lower my price to match them. Cool. It was a pleasure to talk to you, sir. So I was supposed to ask her that first and then dye the robes, but I did it out of order. Oops. It's your green robes. Lovely. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, I ain't judging. <laughs> Pigeons. It's a dirty, dirty pigeon. You aren't. You have no. You start to talk. Who the hell talks to pigeons? Well, except for old crazy Sam. Not old crazy Sam, no, are you? <laughs> okay. So we have our Moroi robes. Let's go. You pull up. Uh, back over here. Towards the graveyard. <laughs> yeah. Aren't rock doves the same thing as pigeons? <laughs> I mean, I've played Hot Devil Boyfriend. Whoa, <laughs> learn to type me. That's true, it does sound classier. Metal doves, R&V doves, classical doves, <laughs> hip hop doves, dubstep doves, dub dubstep. <laughs> Trance doves. Techno doves. New age doves. <laughs> I mean, I probably would too. <laughs> probably involve a lot of like um, like, electronically altered, like, cooing sounds. <laughs> Which sounds pretty rad, actually. <laughs> okay. Disguise. I wonder if this will do the thing where, like, okay, so there's a, there <laughs> there's a, uh, there's a fun little... Uh, thing in, in Conquest of the Longbow, uh, which you might remember because I streamed it not too long ago, where it, when you disguise yourself as the jeweler, um, and then if you present yourself to the uh, to the guard without dyeing your beard, and then you realize, oh shit, wait, I have to dye my beard first, leave, dye your beard, come back, the guard will realize what you've done and get suspicious and arrest you. So I wonder what will happen if I go up here, not disguised, and then, like, put my disguise on. Like, in front of these guys. <laughs> well, is this game sophisticated enough to do something like that? I'm gonna guess no, but... Who knows? You quickly change into your green robes. Hey, this nah, man yep. has stolen our robes <laughs> and has the affront to change into them in front of us. Kill him! <laughs> Sweet. That probably wasn't the smartest thing you've ever done. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Those Moroi don't take kindly to intruders. Excellent. Well done. Good job, game. I approve. 
Thank you for calling me on my bullshit. <laughs> you quickly change into your green robes. Yeah, I love Longbow. Love that game a lot. Alright, hey guys. I'm totally one of you. Oh, uh, I'll probably need to remember that one, um, that, uh, that passphrase. Yeah, I'd never played Conquest of Camelot before. Um, I just played it on stream uh, somewhat recently uh, for the first time, and I loved it. It was so good! And I I'd played Longbow um, many, many times. Like, I played that to death as a kid, but I'd never played Camelot, and oh my god, loved Camelot. What event woke ta? Um... The cataclysm? Correct. Cool. What does the physical manifestation of Tar look like? Uh, indescribable, I believe. Correct. <laughs> what is a proper sacrifice to Tar? Oh, um. This man is shit. trying to pass himself <laughs> off as one of us. Kill him! Whoops! <laughs> if you're going to try and pass yourself off as a Maroi cultist, you should at least try and learn some things about them. Maybe even read a book. I did, but I forgot. <laughs> Alright. It is, yeah, it was tough. Oops, what are you doing? No, don't leave. Yeah, there were definitely some parts that I had uh, that, that were tricky. And some parts that were like just kind of a, a, a bit of a failure of, of like the, the game interaction design a little bit. Um, but I mean, I'm not gonna hold that against it. Oh, what is oh the name of, oops, name of our leader. Well, it was, it was that. Correct. What is the translation of our most holy chant? Oh, shoot. Um, damn it. Uh... Hey, ATM machine. Uh, there should be sound. I'm seeing sound on my end. Are you sure you have your sound on? Like, no sound, uh, game sound, or or me sound. Uh, I want to say in Tara you have become correct. Sweet. How does one achieve enlightenment? Um. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> uh, I want to say denial and indulgence. This man Shit. Is if you nope. <laughs> God, I wish you wouldn't leave because like you're like right near the end, bottom of the screen, I guess. Yay! Good. All right, one more try. Well, as many more tries as it takes, really. Oh, self-indulgence is wrong. False. This man nah. is trying to pass himself. If you get <laughs> wow, just immediately fail. I guess at the appropriate times, no would have been the correct answer. Here, let's do this. Let's walk up here, and then save. Oh, self-indulgence. Correct. The appropriate times, no. Who do we worship with? With? Uh... Correct. Oh, Tar. Where did Tar rise again? And we begin. Oh, shoot. Uh, 
I want to say John Dar. Not sure if that's right. This Damn it! No, it's probably Delhi. It's probably the other, the first one. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, brother! What event? Were correct. What does? Okay, describe correct. Role. What is a proper sacrifice to Tar? Um, humans and beasts. Correct. Yay! Welcome home. Brother. Finally. <laughs> Green is the new white. Come, brother. Join us in our prayers. God, I love that. In, like... Just... An unintelligible rune for his name. <laughs> you realize that there's not much else you can do, so you join the cultists in their devotions. Yes, <laughs> the castle of... <laughs> Perhaps he was dictating. <laughs> and now, brothers, we shall see. We shall see. We shall see. See what? Turn now, brothers. A traitor is among us. Oh, fuck. Already? There's one good. The cultists turn on you with a glazed look in their eyes. You're beginning to think you may have made a mistake coming here. Before you realize what's going on, you feel a sharp pain on the back of your head. Some bastard just hit. Ugh. Oh, what? Well, trying to kill our distinguished guests, Mr. Rome? Oh. That's not very friendly. Everyone is welcome in the Valley of Krasna. Huh. I'm right. Well, I needed them to help destroy that pesky bridge. Too hard to get anything done here with the King's troops, stupid round. But I was... I don't want to hear it. Besides, I have work to do. Mm. Utar, I'll be taking your men down to Tyr to finish our work there. Dispose of Mr. Yeah. Rome, but don't make it quick. My pleasure. Goodbye, Mr. Rome. Yeah. Thanks for all your help. You've been wonderful. It's too bad that you have to die, but I'll need your body so I have someone to pin all the crimes on that are about to take place. <laughs> oh, glad to be of use to you. You've been very useful to me, Utar, and Mayor Von Darkus, Mr. Rome. Now, we might be able to rule this valley with some class, dignity, order, and spiritual guidance. Now I must go. Utar, make sure to bring the machine with you when you're done with him. The machine? <laughs> they cry out, Tar! when they hit him. <laughs> Even Rayford believes. Soon we will conquer Tyr and rule the valley. With the bridge destroyed and the Eye of Yager in our hands. The king doesn't stand a chance against us. Oh, a fiendish plot. Boy, I'm mean, not surprised. I don't know. Probably because you're quite the bastard yourself. No matter. Takes one, no Let one. me show you what the power of Tar will bring us. I tasted the power many years back when I decided to stop listening to my mentor. In return, Tar granted me this body to begin his reign of chaos and terror. Holy shit! Uh, I don't. I that body. I give it back. I don't like it. <laughs> oh crap! Storm. Oh, this is gonna suck. <clears throat> ah, you missed me. <clears throat> it might not suck. <laughs> kind of kick his kicking his ass. Have some fire. Shut on. Nice. Wow. That was a display of mastery and skill. Yeah, that wasn't too bad at all. But I was given a gift from the gods. The gods giveth and taketh away, buddy. Guess they realized they bet on losing horse. But I was chosen. Oh, gods, shut up. <laughs> oh. And screw you for making me mercy kill you. I hate that. 
Yeah, I mean, I didn't, I didn't mercy kill uh, Hummel. I just let him die. All right, Act Three, exciting. No more working for Rayford. Yeah, screw that guy. Crap! Some bastard has stolen your map. What? Probably wanted it for themselves. Dick. Rayford's plans don't work out, and they need a fast exit. That's a pain in the ass. You're in the courtyard of the old ruins, which the Maroi have taken over and seem to have decorated. There's a large fire in the middle of the courtyard as well. I'm sure we noticed it when we walked in. <laughs> it's fire. Pretty. Ooh. You try with... <laughs> I know, you'll just have to generate your own strange police sensation, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a door into one of the creepy places in these ruins. <laughs> I wonder what's behind that door. I bet it's something good or weird. You never can tell with these cult types. Or both. You're in the court. You're in the. After carefully examining the door, you realize this door is locked with three solid deadbolts. You'll never get in, at least in any reasonable amount of time. Damn. What if I. Probably won't work, but. After carefully. Damn. There's no. Oh. Don't don't tempt me with the promise of something good, and then make and then tell me I, I'll never get in. You're in the courtyard of the. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I miss my map. It's a door into one. There's no one left around here. Just go back through the main gates. But I want to explore. I want to look at all their crazy like You're in shit. The court Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. I think I feel like it'll probably it, it will probably because I I have been able to like you know a, a force open doors and 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 uh, magically unlock doors before when the game let me, but I think those are just doors that it just won't let me do. It probably, it probably just it, it just there's just nothing to to do in there. The old. Okay, so now I gotta walk my ass all the way back to wherever I'm going. I don't even know where I'm going. Where am I going? I guess I should go to tier. Oh yay, there's Kayana. Hey, okay. I gotta move here. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm out of here. Rayford just revealed his little plan to me. He's going to take over the valley and try to pin it on me. I'm not going to be here for that. You can't just leave yet. Uh, yes I can. This was never my deal. <laughs> well, it's your deal now. You think Rayford will ever let you live in peace? The King of Lunaria won't stop until he has your head. And Rayford won't let you rest ever as he hunts you down. You've got to finish what you started here. So, will you finish this once and for all, and go kill Rayford and his lackeys? Sure, yeah. You're right. I just want my life to be my own. Let's go kill the bastard. Good. Look here. These should help you. A few health potions. The woods are crawling with his guards. You can go to Tyr yourself, but you could also try to get some to help you. Hmm. All right. Want to see you there? Yes, you'll find me for certain. Hey, how about a little something, something for luck? Nice try. Aww. If I didn't try, would I be a true gentleman? Go. <laughs> ah, all right. <laughs> I was thinking that, yeah. I should restore and try it. Cool. Yeah. Store here. Hey, where I'm a, you can't? Uh, yeah. Well, you've got so the coward's way. Are you sure this doesn't seem like you? <laughs> nope. This is unfortunate. Well, I can't have Rayford leaving town with that gem, looking for you. What does that mean? I didn't want to do this, and this is absolutely a last resort. But I must eliminate you. Oh shit. What? The elders will be mad. 
but the return of the gem is even greater than your return. There are others. Return? Others? Goodbye, Mr. Rowan. She appears to glow for a moment. You feel funny. Hi, what's going on? You're being reduced to ether. Sorry, it had to be this way. Uh, oh, well. You've just faded out of existence. You are no more. <laughs> it's like you were never here. Wow. Very sad. The elders will be so displeased. And now I have to destroy the port city, most likely, to reobtain the gem. No matter. Getting it back is of the utmost importance. Sorry, Mr. Rome. I wanted to know you better, but now, perhaps, you'll only live in infamy. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> Look, being infamous does not mean giving up on pummeling the good guy who did you wrong. Go kick his ass! <laughs> alright, alright. Ah, no, what are you doing? Don't do that. <laughs> cool. She just removed me from existence. At least it was a painless death. Or not even a death, really. Not technically dead, just no longer alive. <laughs> I will go kick his ass. I'm gonna go kick... 20 of his asses. <laughs> At least. I wonder if, um... Oh, that's... This is the... That's the diary. Um... I wonder if I can still go to, go to Volksville. Here is that way. Let me head over to Volksville first. Ooh, I also wonder if I can bring him to his house now. Because when I tried that before, he showed up. But if he's not here, then theoretically I should be able to do it, right? People start. <laughs> yeah. You climb over. <laughs> this is office. Oh, I can just waltz into his office. That's nice. Hey, Jan. Mr. Rome? You're supposed to be in tier with Rayford, standing trial. I'm going to have to place you under arrest. How about you don't instead? Come on, Jan. You're better than that. I'm acting, Sheriff, Mr. Rome, and you are under arrest! I hate to say it, Mr. Acting Sheriff, but you couldn't arrest me unless I let you. And I'm not going to do that. Okay, that's true, but I'll go and get Rayford and he'll arrest you! <laughs> really? What do you want to talk about? Rayford. The crimes Rayford blackmailed me into... You know it's true, Jan. You were there. So what? You still committed them. 
I thought you were a follower of the law. I am. Rayford says that... Rayford is a bastard and you know it. He's down in tier now, trying to overthrow the council and seize power. I don't believe you. Why should I listen to these lies? <laughs> okay, I'm listening. Rafer is working with the Maroi and is trying to overthrow Tyr with their help and the help of Von Darkles. He's trying to set himself up as complete ruler of this whole land and he's framed me for crimes so he can be cleared to see his plans through. I don't believe you. Where's your proof? I don't have any bloody proof. I'm here and Rafer isn't. Why didn't he go to Tyr with me? Why not come ahead off here? He wants you out of the way, Jan. He doesn't trust you. Hmm. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't, and you know it. He calls you stupid, weak, fat. Shut your mouth right now. What do you want me to do? Even if I do believe you, Rayford is my boss. And a mean bastard at that. I just need your help in tear. I'm not sure what yet, but I need you with me. You know Rayford better than anyone else. And you should be there to kick him when he's done. Yeah. <laughs> that would be fun. Okay, Mr. Rome. You're right. I'll help you. Yes. Excellent. I knew you were better than Rayford thinks you are. I'll head down to Tier now and meet you there. You might want to try and rustle up all the help you can. I will. Aw. Yeah, I love me. I love him too. He's a sweetie. Let's go through Rafer's desk while I'm here. You look over Rafer's desk now there's no one about. It's quite clean and tidy. Exactly what you'd expect from him. Looking in the only drawer, you see a quill, some ink, and pieces of parchment. You ignore those. You also see a key, which you take because you quite like keys. <laughs> they unlock things that aren't supposed to be unlocked, which is always fun. <laughs> I do like keys. Jail key. You're in Rayford's office. There's a doorway to the dungeon, the jail cell where Yan usually looks after people Rayford has arrested for minor infractions, and the desk where Rayford does his work. You're in Ray. You're in. It's Rayford's. Um. Hmm. Well, there's nobody in the jail right now. This key will unlock the prisoners in the dungeon. Oh, the dungeon. Okay. You stole it from Rayford's desk. Yeah, I would agree. It is definitely save game time. I do have a pair of lungs just hanging out of my inventory. They're from the Kraken, which is totally not a Kraken. It was like the uh, creature from the Black Lagoon, really, more more like than more like more like the creature from the Black Lagoon, Black Lagoon than a Kraken. Uh, and I do not know why I have them. Like, I don't know why I need them. I, I'm guessing these were actually- these were supposed to be, like, for a, a different character class quest that I didn't go on. But I killed the Kraken and I have its lungs. For some reason. <laughs> I, can, I can hold my breath for ten minutes. <laughs> I can hold someone else's breath for ten minutes. <laughs> it's already unlocked. Yeah, Eva, unlock doors. It is? Why? Well, what's the point of the key, then? You open the doors and head down to the basement. Oh, maybe, I, maybe the, the jail cells. Oh, right. These are the people he, uh, he arrested previously. What is that guy? Is that, why, is that, why is that guy in his suit? You're in the dungeon below Rayford's office. It's definitely dark and dank and full of various unpleasant devices. You feel almost at home. It's the door back upstairs. I'm so glad we've now gleaned this information together. I feel closer to you now. Aww. These small windows show the prisoners the only natural light they ever see. I just realized I don't have my, um, my hotspots on. Iron Maiden! Put them in the Iron Maiden. Excellent. Execute them. Bogus. <laughs> Was that a Bill and Ted reference or something? I've never actually seen that movie. Okay. <laughs> there is nothing you would enjoy less than getting inside that Iron Maiden. Hey, sometimes they lead to secret passages. 
like in Quest for Glory 4. The grate in the middle of the floor is where the prisoners shit and piss. It's not pretty and doesn't smell that good either. You'd think they'd put that, uh, you know, off in the corner somewhere, but I guess uh, putting it in the middle just adds the, adds the humiliation. This guy must have really pissed off Rayford to be locked up like he is. This guy seems like he's stretching out. You're in the d This young woman is dressed in some very classy armor. You haven't seen any this nice, well, ever. She has a grim, determined look on her face, yet you swear she'd burst into a smile in a second. That's true, yeah, like, it, drains are typically in the, in the middle of the floor because then you have, like, yeah, because then you have the slope down. But that does make it uh, very humiliating to do your business in the drain in the middle of the floor. But, you know, it's a dungeon. What do you want? Even while sitting on the ground, she looks proud and determined. From the design of her armor, you determine she's a paladin, a do-gooder. You don't even know how this giant brute of a man ended up in here. Right or wrong, subduing him must have been a feat. Hey, man. What did he do to piss off Rayford so much? Nothing. Nothing at all. I was just walking from Tia to Volksville along the King's Road and I saw Rayford talking with some creepy guy in a green cloak. Faster than I could think, he had me arrested and in this here dungeon. I bet these are all Kickstarter backers. <laughs> yeah, that seems to be coming around here. Hey, man. Not fat. Yeah. I'm stretching like crazy! All I did was ask Rayford what so strange mugs were doing by the bridge! I'm what are you in for? In truth, I know not what. I came to this town in my travels, and while minding my own business, I was accosted by Rayford's men and accused of some petty charge. He is such an asshole. Yes, as you say. Anyway, here I wait for my trial, where I shall surely be exonerated. Wish there was more uh -huh. I could do now. Best of luck to you. Trial, yes. That's Farewell, traveler. Happened. Beware of Rayford. I do not trust him in any capacity. I think it's about time you left this dungeon. You want to heap revenge upon a head of Rayford? Yes, wholeheartedly, yes. What must I do? I'll lock you from your chains here, and I need you to attack Rayford's guards at the gates of Tyr. I need a way into the city, and the front gate seems like my best option. You have Oops. my word, sir. Sorry. Option. I shall open that gate no matter what stands in my way. I know you are wondering. What did this man do to belong here? That guy, I think, was also a Kickstarter backer of Hero U. I seem to recall seeing his portrait uh, in Hero U somewhere. You know, in most dungeons, the answer is pretty straightforward. But here, anything goes. Yes, perhaps. In my case, I was merely staying in town as a stop on my journey south over the ocean. Until one day I was accused of theft by Rayford. He looks awesome. <laughs> yeah, that sounds familiar. Normally, I would have let them all taste their own blood before I would submit. But I desire to reach my home in one piece. Cool. Well, um... How about if I free you all? Whatever it You can't open these chains without the key. Rayford probably has it, or at least would know where it is. You can't... You... Be free! Oh. Using the key you liberated from Rayford's desk, you unlock Serena's chains and hand her the key. Here's the key to the chains, Paladin. Unlock your fellow prisoners and go and open the gates of tear for me. I will keep my word, sir. Good. Hey, Nevik Link. Hello. The paladin loves you. Yay. Does she love love me? How much does she love me exactly? Um. Hey, uh, innkeeper's daughter. You want to help me liberate Tyr? <laughs> oh. Is it? That may have been intentional. Uh, I'll have to go over my chat rules, because I may have done that on purpose. <laughs> it's been a while since I've looked at them. Hello, Mr. Rowan. Ah, okay. Well, 
it was lovely. Oh, so I wonder if I can actually sleep or if I should just head to tear. Like if I take too long, will tear just be taken over? By the time I wake up. Sado Kagora, yeah. It's an interesting name. Ah, uh, you decide. Oh, I guess I can. That's cool. <laughs> Thank you, sound glitching. You sleep until the m it's now. You sit down. Here's your meat. Looks lovely. You wolf down. I wonder what I needed that food for, or not the food, but the plate for. other people I can get to help me, if there are any. Let's take a look around. Oh, wait, I should have... Well... Well, I still have a save file, so... I want to see if I can uh, break into Rayford's house. You're probably not going to want to help Hello me. There. What, mate? What? Let me tell you, searching for that old thing is a quest in foolishness. I've known a few rogues in my day, including my old friend Ochna. He had an idea to break into the old Killington crypt to see what was in there. He worked on it for a moment, then all of a sudden he began to shake. And suddenly, like some kind of magic poison, his body just started to disintegrate. It was absolutely disgusting. He was screaming all the way up until it took his lips. Ew. Now that would be Jaeger. It's it's Jager, J A A G E R. It's not J A E. I'm talking about even after it took his lungs and his vocal cords, he was screaming. I don't want to know what's in that tomb, and I avoid it like the plague. Cool. <laughs> nice to meet you, friend. <laughs> right. I'm gonna see if I can steal stuff again. Probably can't. I'll try it. How can I help? Yeah, I heard that old. <laughs> oh, there are. <laughs> In some of the uh, the 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 chants that um. Uh, in the 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 chant that um, the uh, the Moroi have. There are apostrophes in that. Oh, yeah, well, that's probably related to the German uh, Jaeger hunter. Let's see, Let's see if I can steal anything. When he's watching you, damn. Yeah. There's probably gonna be nobody in the pub to help me. Smith is not here during the day, which is weird. Uh, the apothecary probably isn't gonna want, isn't gonna have any. Oh, actually, while I'm here though, let me give you my venom sack. Jeez. <laughs> Hello again. Why are you stuttering, audio? Why you do that? Here, have this. Oops. Tell her that I have this venom sack I'd like to sell. Of course. You're quite Savoria, aren't you? Damn right. Okay, bye.
There's also that other guard, um, standing around. Oh, I just walked through that signpost. Here we go. Yeah, let's see if I can, uh, break into, uh, Jaeger, uh, <laughs> Jaeger. Uh, Rayford's house. You'd knock on the door. Can I do this? The door seems to be barred from the inside. You'd knock. Well, I did break it down before, so. Kick. Well, that was fun. Let's hope no one saw you. Ah. Sneak. <laughs> There's no door. You kicked it in, dude. <laughs> so go inside. Okay, there we go. You'd better get in and out quick. Rayford is bound to turn up. Ah, he's all the way in tier. He's not gonna know. Oops. We'll call him Ray. <laughs> You're standing in Rayford's house. You'd better be quick about things. That old bastard might be home any time. It's a mirror. You don't need to look at it, though. You already know you're handsome. This chest would probably contain Rayford's valuables. It's a painting of an old man in a red hat sitting down. You don't like it. <laughs> Apparently it's a painting of his mom. Hey, hurry your ass up. You can hear Rayford upstairs. Why? The stone fireplace has a shield on it. You assume it must be Rayford's family crest. The stone <laughs> Thank you. It's a rug on the floor. Crappy rug. This must be the door to Rayford's indoor privy. You don't have time to examine Rayford's indoor privy. But it's a bedroom door. As much as you'd like to take a shit in it, there's simply no time. Sam the Prince. Rayford has a plant growing here. You're surprised his acidic personality hasn't killed it already. Oh. You play around. You play around. Whatever. You try with all. You play around. Oh, there's a book. Well, yeah. <laughs> this is a fortuitous turn of events. <laughs> Rayford is just magically in his house, despite the fact that he's supposed to be in terror. I don't think it is, Rayford. <laughs> no, I don't suppose you do. All right. You should have been quicker stealing from Rayford. That's fine. Whatever. Can I go upstairs? Probably not. Just... Hey, hurry your ass up. Seriously, you can hear him at the top of the stairs. Oh, I can't actually climb the stairs. That sucks. Well, right. no. Thing. No. Okay. All right, let's just grab whatever's in this trunk and leave. It's locked up tighter than a nun's holy water. I was going to say holy water. Okay. Not right. Oops. Then. Unlock it, please. He kind of does, yeah. You hear a click and the chest pops open, revealing a small bag containing 500 blies and a great sword. Nice haul. Rad. Okay, get out of here. Seriously, you... I'm leaving, I'm leaving. How do I get out? Where's the exit? Well, oh, fuck it. It. Come on. No. Ugh. Uh, I don't think so. Let's see. You play around with. No, nah, nothing in the plant pot. Sam the plant, yes. You hear a click and. Hey! There we go. To find the exit. Ha! <laughs> Rayford still hasn't had his door replaced. Hey, broad daylight. <laughs> Bye, Rayford. Thanks for the sword and the money. Sweet. New sword. This great sword is sharp and will hurt your enemy more than a standard sword. You have equipped your great sword. Plus Sam's revenge. How much money do I have, I wonder? It's a leather. You have some blithos. Over 2,000. Very nice. Too bad um, 
I want to get more of that armor. I want to get better armor, but um, Smith isn't here. Hey, Prospero. Ah, young Mr. Rowan. I see Rayford hasn't taken your head after all. Seems that way. No, it appears he hasn't. Not through lack of training on his part, though. He does look like Dr. Morpheus. I think other people admit- or no. Did other people mention that or did I mention that? I know other people compared him to, to, to Dr. Strange, who he also looks like. But yeah. <laughs> so Rayford is down in tear now, causing trouble. I must admit, Mr. Magic, I didn't expect you to know so much about what Rayford is up to. I keep my ear to the ground, so to speak. And listen when others don't. You'd be surprised what I'd know. I mean, you're a wizard. I totally expect you to know everything. It seems to me the only way out of this land is to deal with Rayford. But Tyr is locked up tighter than a witch's corset. Yeah, he definitely is. <laughs> Fetch me my blue windbreaker! <laughs> uh, Dr. Orpheus is from the Venture Brothers. Um, and he, yeah, as, as Kalta said, he's like totally a, a, a parody of, of Dr. Strange. Yes, it is. I could offer some assistance to you if you'd like. I have a spell that could transport you to the top of the wall in Tia. But after that, you'll be on your own. Well, that's helpful. Yeah, he's he's like one of the best characters in that show. He really, he really is. That'd be a great help. We said the gates would be guarded by Rayford's men. Come and talk to me when you're ready, and I'll send you there. Cool. Thanks, Mr. Magic. It might be prudent to gather some supplies before you go. Okay. Are you prepared to be sent to Tyr? Let me know when you're ready. Oh. So I guess I can't, like, give him anything for new spells at this point. That sucks. You want a pipe? You have no re- hmm. You have no- <laughs> Fear supply through <laughs> sufficiency. You have no hmm. Yeah, magical devotion to Tar. Where do I carry all this in my uh adventure game protagonist bag? <laughs> This guy. Hey there! Whoa! Sorry, I know that's un- Well, good call. I agree! Okay. You will not actually come help me, because you're just there to be funny. You guys probably are not going to have any reason to help me. Neither are you guys. Yeah, I think, uh... I'm just gonna go. Nope, it does not. And honestly, Quest for Glory is, well, in the first two games it mattered. Like, after, in three it, it stopped mattering. <laughs> but also in three you had a storage chest, which I never used. I've definitely had issues with, uh, with um, going over my weight capacity in Quest for Glory 1. Um, and also in two, less so in two than in one, but, uh, never in three or four. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, I guess let's just go. I can't really think of anyone else I need to talk to. I mean, I definitely have unfinished business because there's still spells that I don't have, and there's that necromancer... I haven't dealt with because I couldn't find her. So... I don't know. I mean, this game is probably def probably worth another playthrough just for, like, the different approaches, if nothing else. Oh, really? Well, that's annoying. <laughs> yeah, uh, more or less, yes. It was like... It was a... It was a um, 
it was an attempt to add uh, RPG elements to an adventure game, and it went very well, I think. <laughs> there was like really no other game like it at I the time. Had to be sent. Actually, let me know. Let's let me save first. I be prepare yourself. Oh god, he erased me from existence just like Kayana did. Well, you've done it now. No choice but to go onwards. Yep, I guess we're at the point of no return. It's one of the decorative statues that look down from the top of the giant wall. <laughs> this guy looks stoic and heroic. You don't care for him very much. Push him off the wall! Whatever it- Damn. <laughs> You're on top of the wall of Tyr, which is also an aqueduct. You can see how they've managed to slow and control the river here as it runs over the top of the wall. Out beyond the wall, you can see the entire valley of Krasna. It sure does. The music sure sounds like Final Dungeon music, too. There are two pathways on either side of the river here, with a small wooden footbridge linking them. This guardhouse was built here to allow patrols on the top of the wall and to keep out interlopers. The river runs right under it. It's pretty impressive, actually. <laughs> Careful the cow, yeah. You play a. You try. You play <laughs> There's a like a very specific pixel I have to click on. <laughs> Let's see. Can I go this way? Oh, neat. You're at the edge of the grasslands, and you can see there's an old guard outpost for Tyr here. Down below, you can see the aqueduct that carries the Great River. Can I fall off you the wall? You see an interesting outcropping of rocks. You could probably climb them. You can see where the Great River begins to flow into the aqueduct that carries the water over the top of the wall of Tyr. It empties into the ocean at the end of the wall, which you can barely see from here. <laughs> Top tier music track. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you see a pretty sturdy column here. You see... I can't go that way. Can you go further? Gotta use the damn arrow keys to actually navigate. There we go. After some serious walking, you eventually work your way to the top of Tia's walls. Oh, interesting. I could have actually just gone up there. Yep, that was the idea when we first came here. Damn, it's locked. Typical. Hmm. Can I unlock it? Your attempt at larceny failed, but you gained some experience. Damn! Come on. Hmm. Do I need to just be better at it? Being <laughs> the I'm surprised this game wouldn't uh, doesn't give you the option to do that. Attempt considering how much it loves toilet humor. Actually, wait. Can I go this way? Well, dear boy, do I have to do what? everything for you? Doors open now. Get in there and do what you must. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Bugger. Stairs. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> ha! It's unlocked. It would've been funny if it, if, if it just like went down and down and down for like. Ten more floors. 
like fucking Shinra tower. <laughs> Oh wow. <laughs> I haven't played Witcher 3. I actually just finished Witcher 2. Finally got around to that one. Oh, hello. Uh hmm. There's two of Rayford's guards standing in front of the Tears Arrows headquarters. Hmm. You don't think they're keeping people out. Rayford promised to make me captain of the Tear Guard when this is all over. We'll have to deal with Tears Arrows first. We can't keep them locked in here forever. Don't worry about that. Rayford has a plan. Halt! Move no further on the authority of the Lord of Tear. Crap. They've seen you. Guardsmen? I have new orders for you! Yawn, buddy! Yawn, I thought Rayford left you back in Volksville. That's Deputy Yawn? Or Acting Sheriff Yawn to you, guard? I have new orders for you. You're to hold the private docks until you receive new orders. Yeah, they did. They did that on a couple characters in this game. Like the Smith uh, definitely had some voice pitch, voice pitching done. But Rayford left us here to guard. I know what Lord Rayford said. Are you saying that I, his trusted deputy, isn't relaying his new orders correctly? Hmm. <laughs> Yawn. I, I like the new yawn. Of course not, Jan. I mean, deputy. We'll head there at once. Good. Bye. Jan, you're awesome. High five. Well done, Jan. Hearty slap on the back. I can't believe they actually bought it. I nearly crapped myself. <laughs> actually, I think I did crap myself. <laughs> I won't tell anyone, Jan. <laughs> Now let's open these doors and get these arrows out. I can do that, Mr. Rue. My master key for all the doors in Volksville also works here. Convenient. You can come out now. All is clear. Wait here, soldiers. I'll see what's going on. Valeris looks Yan up and down, and then turns her pointed gaze towards you. You can almost see her brain ticking away. So I assume you're not working with that bastard Rayford then, Deputy? No, he's working with me. Ah, Mr. Roem. You are about the last person I expected to see here. Usually I'd have some witty banter about rescuing a building full of beautiful women. <laughs> but the situation seems to call for less talk and more action. Good. <laughs> yes, it does. You surprise me, Mr. Roem, in a good way. So what exactly brings you two here to rescue my soldiers and I? My soldiers and me. Captain, I just want to leave this accursed valley. And the only way it seems I can do that is to deal with Rayford. So here I am. Yawn saw reason. I decided to help. Indeed. An interesting tale. I'd like to hear more, but as you rightly said, it's time for action. If you want to take care of Rayford, I'll set my guards to clear some of the streets for you. Would that help? It would. Thanks. It is I who should be thanking you. I can think of several ways we can arrange that. I thought you didn't have time for witty banter. That was all I can't help myself. <laughs> if you head back into the city, I'll release my soldiers and attempt to clear a path to Rayford for you. Thanks. I'll see you soon, I'm sure. Excellent. Okay. For some reason, no voice acting on that line. I'll stay here in case more of Rayford's guards come along. Arrow through your heart. Cool. <laughs> what else? What else we got? Well, the artist, uh, the art, the portrait artist in this game is is uh, Jen Pattison. Um. I don't know what you're what you're implying. <laughs> okay. You have no right to hold us here. 
We are the Council of Tyr, and we demand... Listen here, old one. Old one? Hold your tongue, lapdog to a sheriff. This is Juanita, eldest and most respected of our council. You have no right to talk to her that way. And no right to hold us here. You shall release us now, and submit yourself to the authority of the council. I don't think so. Get inside with the others. Now! You shall answer for this guard. The Council of Tear is no more, old man. This city is now under the authority of Lord Rayford, and he has ordered you confined to your tower. So get inside, or I will be forced to put you inside. This is treason, guard. I will submit, for now. But you shall pay for this. They just don't stop talking. You there, get inside with the others. Do I look like a member of the council, Lackey? You? I thought Braver had had you up at the ruins with those fool Roy. It did. Now I'm here to kill you. You can try, fool. Fool? That's no nice. Yay, fighty times. My new sword. Oh, you're so dead. Oh, he had more health than I thought. Started him out lower than that. He looks cool. I like his, I like his sprite. I like his animations, too. Nice work. That bastard is dead. <laughs> yeah, there need to be a comma there. <laughs> you can come out now, counselors. Ready for his guard is dead. That was quick. Thank you, sir. Your assistance is greatly appreciated. How much of the city has that Kerr Rafer taken under his control? It's hard to tell, Councillor. I've not been everywhere yet. But from what I've seen, he has fairly tight control of the whole city. That shall not last now we are free. Indeed. Thank you once again, sir. We shall gather our forces and take back our city. Yeah. You're welcome, I guess. This is treason, comma, guard. Hey, come on, I wanna go back and search that guy. No, oh, figured he'd be gone. I didn't go to the I didn't actually go to the library, I should do that. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You are right. This is Treason Guard. Treason Guard meet, uh, Perjury Guard. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> With the city under siege, okay. now probably not the best time to go into the library. Oh, but I want to do some light reading. Hey, what's up? Is any more of Rayford's guards around you? Not at all, thankfully. I don't think I'd be able to lie like that again. You're doing well, Jan. Thanks, Mr. Rome. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Is there anything to do on the docks, I wonder? Can I get the uh can I get the sex workers to help out this uh, rebellion? This is a guard of Tear, known as the. Well done, ladies. Took care of those guards quickly. They shall not return to our fair city, Mr. Rome. Well done. They sh oh wait, there's nothing in here. You turn that my god. You head the people the ex. I so. Yeah. <laughs> that was a really good joke, but oops, wrong way. Oh, there, there. Knife. <laughs> Fight! It's some of Tears arrows helping to retake the city from Rayford's band of guards in the Maroi. Jeez, they're all sweaty. Damn! 
Councillor Clemens doesn't look like he's done much in the battle. The councillor looks to be in full control of the situation around here. Politicians, he'll probably take all the credit next. We have this area secure. You can continue on to the lighthouse if you wish. Oh, go to the lighthouse. That's cool. It seems you found some help, Consul. We did indeed, Mr. Rome. These arrows were hidden inside the Hall of Laws with the Council, and once we were free, they were keen to exact their revenge. Wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of them. <laughs> Neither would I. Job work here, Counselor. How's the rest of the docks? The main docks were free of guards. It seems Rayford wasn't interested in them for some reason. Counselors Juanita and Velacor have taken some arrows and have continued toward the lighthouse. I'm not sure how far they've gotten, though. Excellent. Hopefully I won't have to fight too many of Rayford's men before I kick that bastard in the teeth. <laughs> kick him in the balls first. <laughs> he deserves it. And more. Can do. Vicious <laughs> counselor. I like you. That would be cool. Yeah. I would like to do that as well. One of Rayford's lackeys is in combat with an arrow. You almost feel sorry for the prick. He's busy. She's busy. <laughs> One of Tears' arrows is in fierce combat. Go to the docks first. Rayford doesn't seem to have any guards here. I guess he's not worried about people leaving. Oop. I can't believe that fat prick ordered us here. <laughs> He's certainly getting above himself these days. I wonder when he grew up pair. And if you can see them. <laughs> Wait a moment, Rome. You're going to get it now. Fight. I'll fight you both. Now you're <laughs> well done. How about you? You want to fight too? I guess you do. All right. After seeing how much I, how badly I murdered your friend, you still want to fight me? All right. If you say so. Those guards that Jan fooled into guarding this pathetic little dock. Uh, not too long ago. Yeah, a few years ago. Searching the core, Ooh. you also f rad. A bunch of money and potions. Searching. Let me see real quick. One second. 2014, so five years ago. Six years ago. <laughs> five and a half. It was in July, so middle of the middle of the year. Okay, so lighthouse is that way. Let me, uh, I want to poke around the mayor's house first, see if there's anything to do there. Oh, good. Oh, she's fighting the Moroi. This is a guard of... It's one of the Moroi monks in combat with an arrow. He's about to die. <laughs> one of Tyr's arrows is in fierce combat. Any problems with the guns? No, and they shall not bother anyone else ever again. <laughs> yeah. He's busy. She. Any problems? No. Have fun, guys. I feel like, like, she could easily kill him any time. She's just toying with him. Even the mayor's servants aren't around. Strange. Hmm.
The door is locked. Of course. Probably can't unlock it. But there are people around during the day. Ugh. Wait for night if you want to cast that on the mayor's door. Damn. All right, never mind. Uh, all the tears guards are are the arrows. So yeah, they are all female. Yep. Yeah, they're just like <laughs> eating popcorn, <laughs> watching the fight. <laughs> Oops, come on. Can I go in the red door? The door is locked. Okay. Not wrong. Okay. Nice. <laughs> hey, can I rob the bar? <laughs> it's one of Tear's arrows. She's hot. <laughs> There's some of Tear's arrows standing guard here. You don't think anyone will get to the lighthouse if the arrows don't want them to. It's Councillor Juanita, the senior member of Tear's council. Fish speakers. I never actually read Dune or saw Dune or played Dune. <laughs> I did start to read the book. I didn't get very far before I lost interest. I should try it again. Councillor Velikor is standing around looking like he's about to be sick. One of Tears' arrows is in fierce combat. One of Rayford's lackeys is... We've taken back the wharves and defeated a lot of Rayford's guards this day. We'll keep the wharves clear of Rayford's guards. Councillor, your arrows did an excellent job here. Yes. They shall be awarded honors once everything has settled down. Excellent. Ah, uh, great. I guess. You can continue on to the lighthouse if you wish. We've cleared the way for you. I choose to believe that Juanita used to be an arrow. Mr. Rome, your reputation precedes you. Either that or she founded the arrows. She was decided, like... This city needs an all-female guard force. Everyone else is like, yeah. I'm sorry to say yours doesn't. <laughs> no, I don't suppose it would have. Well, it was nice to meet you, I suppose. I have to go now. Wait. Mister. I'm sorry to say okay. well, it was nice. I guess we're going to the lighthouse for some reason. I don't know how you got uh -oh. this far, criminal. Should've saved. <laughs> but you aren't getting any further. That's okay. Oh, bugger. Oh, I'm getting sick of killing you stupid pricks. <laughs> what has Rayford promised you? Just getting out of that stinking Volksville is promise enough for me. Gods, let's kill this Kerr. Kerr has it. one arm. More killing for no money. Oh, come on. They got tons of money. You can loot him. Oh, sweet. Not so fast, you worthless lackey of a traitorous sheriff. The Council of Tear is back in control now, and you are ordered to stand down. Surrender now or be killed. It's like this, you see. There's six of us, and only four of you. And only one of you is cool weapon. <laughs> Don't walk in spear range. Yeah, seriously, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, that's about what I know about Dune as well. Also, uh, Sting is in it. <laughs> in the movie, at least. So, respectfully, you can go and get stuffed. You're right, of course. Of the four of us here, only one has a weapon. Of course, you're missing the bigger picture. That would be the cadre of very angry Tears arrows right behind us. Yes, Councillor Pratton. I was getting to that. Apologies. <laughs> As my colleague said, there's a large number of Tears arrows coming down from the docks now, and they're most displeased with Rayford and you. I wonder what happens if you don't free Tears arrows before you do this. Ah, yes. Right. <laughs> oh, pfft. I was jumping to the ocean. What about you two? 
That may have worked on those feeble fools, but it won't work on us. Ooh, do I get to kill you guys? You'll be dead before those women archers arrive. No, he won't be. Yeah, but also, they're, if they're archers, I mean, they can hit you from back there. <laughs> You're a sight to see, and not just because you arrived in the nick of time. I'm pleased to see you're still alive as well, Mr. Rowan. You are. After this is over, I should buy you a drink. We can talk about how pleased you are. Ahem. <laughs> you are ordered to stand down. Never. Stabity, stabity, stabity. Oh. Blah. <laughs> Herc Blair. Whoa, that was intense. Okay, I want someone to do like, like a like a a, a more detailed animation of just that fight, of just Valeris like kicking the ass of just kicking the asses of both of those Moroi. Like I want like a really like just, just rad cinematic fight scene of just that. Yep, those were spiked clubs. <laughs> <laughs> Falcon just Volaris, <laughs> the bird. Please take your arrows to the top of this lighthouse and arrest Rayford. Hell no, that bastard is mine. Rayford has tried to kill me, set me up to be killed, and forced me to commit crimes for him. And all I wanted to do was get a hell out of this valley. Volaris, it sounds fair to That's me, Counselor. Mr. Roam has certainly helped us retake Tyr. Rayford is all yours, sir. Bring him back to stand trial if he cooperates. Bring his body back, if he doesn't. Can do. There you are. Can do, will do. Yeah, they totally would. Just like, have, fal have falcons and just like, ah, stick them on, on people. This is Count- This is Councillor Clemens. He's one of the Council of Tyr who look after this fine city. Councillor Pratan is a fine, upstanding gentleman. You're sure? Yeah, just like a cult of, of, uh, of like, eldritch abomination worshippers, and they all have, like, trained falcons. That'd be cool. It's Councillor Juanita, the senior member of Tyr's council. It's time to finish off Rayford. Get up that lighthouse. It's... This woman is fit and healthy. You consider flirting with her, but then remember you have other things to do. Never overdo the flirting your papa once said to you. <laughs> That's not a tear guard. You play around. Well, I guess searching he's... the corpse reveals some blies, which you pocket. I guess he's a guard. He's he's doing guard duty in tears. You so. also found a healing potion and a teleport pill. Ooh. You gladly take teleport pill, rad. Searching, you also excellent. All right, eh, up stairs, please. Yeah, 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 I get to actually go up, the, go explore the lighthouse now. Wouldn't let me before. This is an appropriately epic uh, location for a final fight. Reaching the top of the lighthouse, you see Rayford and the Mayor of Tyr, Manfred von Darkels, in deep conversation. Hi. That's over, Rayford. Oh, please let me push one of them off the edge. Are you serious? You're like a bad Blythos. Yeah. I always turn up. I thought you said he'd be dead by now. Well, obviously, Utar failed, and Mr. Rome proved to be more resourceful than I thought. Cyanide I teleport, Bill. <laughs> now listen, Smeghead. I didn't come here to hear you blabber. Smeghead? With the Red Dwarf uh, reference there. Oh, well, why did you come here? <laughs> to kill you and get my life back. It is cool, yeah. All I wanted was to pass through town and be on my way, but no, you had to put me in the middle of all your sight. Do you think you mean anything to me? I buy and sell men like you all the time. I shipped better men than you overseas to be slaves in mines more horrible than you could imagine. Preford, 
What are we going to do now? Oh, we? We are going to do nothing. This man isn't a concern of ours at all. Yeah, like, the mayor here was, was barely in this game. Like, he was in, like, one scene a while ago when he had me... When he, like, invited me to his manor, manor and I talked to him for a bit, and then, like, we never saw him again, so... I don't know. I'll take care of him. Well, what should I do? You? I only need one thing from you. Oh, he's gonna push him off the edge, I bet. What's that? Die. Yep. Oh, okay. Or that. The mayor makes a thud and a splash as he hits the rocks below. You are one vicious bastard, Rayford. Somehow I think the king will believe me more when I tell him you killed the mayor of Tyr and forced me to allow you to take over the valley. <laughs> I applaud your creative villainy here, Rayford. I normally wouldn't mind, but I don't have time for this. We have all the time in the world now that you so kindly got me the Eye of Yager, eh? Oh boy, here we go. You simple rube. Seriously, do you even know what you found? Let me guess here. Something like power. Unlimited power. Well, yeah. <laughs> Spare me. With the power of this gem and the technology of the Maroi, I can create a weapon so great no one would dare oppose the kingdom of Lonaria. Hmm. So, but I killed Uatarg, so he wouldn't have brought the machine with him, whatever the machine was. So, you're kind of missing part of your plan here, Rayford. Nice plan, but everyone here knows you're crazy. You partnered up with a cult and imprisoned everyone in this city. That's where you come in. I'm blaming it all on you. <laughs> when they find me with your body, I'll explain how you did it all. Dormammu, I have come to bargain. <laughs> yeah, he's got the friggin' time stone, great. God, that crap. You're not pinning your lame crimes against this kingdom on me. I've got better things to do. The Eye of Agamotto. What can you do about it? Sword. Well, I suppose I could kill you right here. That appears to be my preferred course of action. Come on, then, you weakling. Come see what a real swordsman can do. We'll see. Don't worry. I'll show you. Oh, nice. Oh, shit, he's got a stop. lot of health. This might suck. Oh, dang. Yikes. They are stone. That's true, I did take his great sword. Plus I have healing spells, and I think I can do this. I am doing a bunch of damage to him, and he's not doing that much to me. I mean, he is, but I can heal him. Plus I have, like, shitloads of healing potions. Fuck! <laughs> Rayford was one tough bastard. Oof. Cripes! Is this my own blood? <laughs> You this be... is not how I planned this to go. You made me bleed my own blood. My grandfather always said to me, make a lot of plans. Don't plan a lot of results. Mr. Rowe, I, I beg of you, please. Ooh. What should we do? What should we do? Kill him? Spare him. Hmm... Stab him in the skull or the heart. I, I'm inclined to agree with you, Kalta, for... Make him... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah. You're not worth a finishing blow. You deserve to bleed out, you obnoxious bastard. Oh, or that. <laughs> Mr. Rome! It's over, Jan. Look him. Jan. Jan. Help me. Help you? Help you? Please, Jan. For the love of God. Sure. I'll help you. Oh. Kick. Oh. <laughs> Jan. What are you doing? Don't. For the love of God. You're such an idiot, Jan, you used to say. 
Oh, I was gonna kick him over the edge. Yawn! Do it again, Yawn. You're too stupid, Yawn. Yawn, please don't. Here's one for the road, Rafer. Oh. Oh, Yawn. Come on. You're too good for Holy that. Holy shit, Yawn. <laughs> you hold back for too long? You just snap, I suppose. Oh. That was part us. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. That was infamous, man. Well, <laughs> you know. Let's get going, okay? Yeah, now I now I, I gave a man a, ta a taste for murder. <laughs> I've ruined poor sweet Jan. He's a cold-blooded killer now. That is true, yeah. Oh, hello. You've been here the whole time. I was wondering when you'd make your appearance. Interesting. I thought you would have dispensed with Rayford yourself. Sometimes you have to let someone else do your dirty work, eh? I'd love to stay and chat longer, but I do have business to attend to. Ah, yes. The Eye of Viagra. I suppose you'd be wanting to take this with you. Taking this back? It's unbelievably important. More than you know. Suppose I wanted to keep it. <laughs> Don't make me kill you. I like your attitude. <laughs> I know. Whoop. <laughs> All right. She just I'm sad to see you go, but I think even I know that gem ain't worth its trouble. Oh, you'll see me again. I guarantee it. Oh. You have to love these cryptic moments where someone who is seemingly a stranger knows more than you. Oh yeah, I'm delighted. Still, I'd love to see you again. I'll see you, but you might not see me. Oh, could I miss you? I don't look like this, Mr. Rowan. I just assumed this form for this mission. Did you not realize this? Well, a guy gets distracted. Don't find me. I'll find you. Whee! Okay, now what does she look like? Whoa! Until we meet again, William. Rad. Mumra, the ever living. <laughs> Oh what god. The hell? Why did you just do that before? <laughs> She's one of the ethereals from WoW. <laughs> oh, there's Rayford. Oh. It looks like negotiations were successful. Yeah, it ended in a stalemate, so I killed the deal. Your puns are terrible. <laughs> well, luckily we have you to clean up, eh? They've rounded up all of Rayford's lackeys. And all the Maroi who uh, didn't die. Most of those cultists were easy to decimate. Well, that's mildly unpleasant. <laughs> so, uh, what should we do with them? I think we should put them in Rayford's dungeon. That would be a good place for them to wait for trial. My justice has been served. Thank you, Mr. Rome. I may return home now. Oh, I didn't check the front no gates, problem, I realized. Oops. I found it. I was really limber in battle. Must have been all that stretching. <laughs> I'm going to the red door. The Council of Tyr wishes to see you, Mr. Roam. Mr. Roam, we are in your debt. You saved our city. I've never seen such bravery. Well, I just... I wish you. I didn't notice. Do not be modest, sir. You saved our lives, and we are in your debt. Hey, Sparrowgrass. Please, stay in our city as our honored guest until you are ready to travel. Gotta stay at the mayor's house. <laughs> yeah. So glad that we're pretty much done the now, next I think. several weeks relaxing at the mayor's house. The Council of Tear and Gratitude provides you with all the food and comforts you need. Oh yeah. Finally, though, you are summoned to the city plaza by the council for something. Oh, great! Wee! It looks like the entire valley turned out for your goodbye. God, you hate long goodbyes. It's so much easier just to leave through a window in the middle of the night. <laughs> well, it, it never said that the other woman was a paladin, just that she was wearing nice armor. Well... With the bridge finally repaired, we must all bid goodbye to Mr. Rowan. Whether he Please. wants to leave or not. You're all too kind. We have received a letter from Conninglist. 
The king himself has sent a message. Yeah, basically. I, Harland Duland, king of Lonaria, do proclaim that Mr. William Rome is a true hero of the Valley of Krasna. Having saved our kingdom from the dastardly plans of Johann Sebastian Rayford and the cult of the Maroi, I on this day proclaim him to be the Baron of the Valley, steward and mayor of Tyr. Nope. Jan Gellefort is on this day proclaimed Sheriff of Volksville and right-hand man to Baron William Rome. I don't want to be a Baron. Oh, wow, really? I don't need that. <laughs> There's more from the king. I invite Baron Rome to spend a fortnight as an honored guest in my castle, Conninglist, for a banquet feast to be held in his <laughs> honor. A banquet? Really, I don't need that. I just push the guy off a lighthouse. I didn't even do that. He will also John be did. paid a sum of one million blyphos as a reward for services rendered. Dang. I could use that. <laughs> his Majesty has sent his private coach to take you up the King's Road to the castle, Mr. Rome. Truly, a job well done, sir. Good job, Jim. Oh, there's Peggy. I've never met a better hero. Now, young man, you behave yourself up at the castle. Oh, hey, you managed to we leave We get to Volksville. tell people you stayed at Moy Inn. And to think I almost had you. Sorry about earlier, uh, Sir Rome. Or whatever. <laughs> I'll, I'll buy you a sausage sometime. You better. Hey, I closed the pub to see you off. I want you to know that's a big deal. Yeah, we're mostly sober now. <laughs> well, Mr. Rome, the castle is waiting. We'll be here when you return. Oh, great. Your coach is just outside the front gate, Baron Rome. Counselor, tell the coach to go on ahead. I've got me all right. Baron Rome, are you sure? Yeah, I'm not one for pomp and circumstance. Goodbye, all. <laughs> it's going to go the other way. <laughs> Ooh, I win. Well, are you ready, Mr. Rome? <laughs> it's Baron Rome now, Swart. You don't say. You're moving up in the world. That I am, Swart. Where are we going then? North, Swart, to the castle. Oh, <laughs> oh that's nice. Of me. <laughs> oh, I like that shot of him. That's really good. Cool. Well, that was fun. Ah, here we are with like the the quest for glory font right here. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Yeah, so yeah, like that was um, there was there were some rough spots in that game. Like there were bits of it where where it was like unpolished and stuff like that. But I mean, overall, it did not take away from my enjoyment of the game. Yeah, we are infamous. And yeah, like, definitely worth uh, some some replays just to, like, see the other um, character paths, and I, I'm sure there's stuff I missed because I didn't get all the spells. Um, I didn't do everything that uh, Prospero wanted me to do. So... Yeah, and uh, there is a um, there's a sequel to this game uh, in the works uh, called Quest for Infamy: Rome to Ruin. Goat meal, it is. Yeah. Oh, nice! I believe that. Heroine's quest was good. Oh, it's a prequel. Yeah. Okay. I don't actually know much about it. I just know that it's happening. <laughs> there's another there's another game in the series. We're off on a quest. We gotta oh, beat the rest with fire and steel and magic and beer and gonna be the best. <laughs> Walk through the land, sword and shield in hand. <laughs> Never stop till we get to the top and then strike up the band. Oh, Steven Alexander with Yawn. Want to be a hero well you're Ah, I just think Cordes. He's another indie game developer. Me too. <laughs> what are? Oh, Edwin Tiong. He's been in a bunch of stuff.
he's in um, um, Detective Grimoire. He's Detective Grimoire, which I need to play. I'm sure those are those are good games. James Ward. That's a familiar name, but I can't place it. I never played black and white. I tried to play black and white. I had I had a copy of that game, but it didn't work on any of the computers I had access to at the time. So I ended up giving it to a, to my boyfriend at the time because it worked on his computer. So I've never actually played it, <laughs> which makes me sad. Oh yeah, and my current boyfriend has it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've heard. Like, I, it, I've heard it's not that great, but still kind of, like, I'm sad that I missed out on playing it. I think one of the main reasons I, I was interested in it at the time was that I was really big into Dungeon Keeper, and it's by the same, uh, the same company, so... Hey, Dave, Dave and Janet Gilbert, and Ben Chandler, and Francisco Gonzalez. The Wedged Eye Games, uh group there. Scott Murphy, Josh Mandel, Delorean Corey Cole, Jane Jensen, Mark Crow, a bunch of Sierra people. Um, right, so now I gotta figure out the game I'm gonna play next. And I... Oh, I thought I actually had decided on what I was gonna play next, but now I can't remember what it was. Man of ill renown. Well, you've got a bit of the bad in your bones. Nice work, Letty. Cool. 155 infamy. I'm sure there's more infamy I can get. Probably from, like, robbing people and stuff. Ooh, I can save my character. Whoa. <laughs> oh, if I try to... If I try to go f back and forward. <laughs> it makes noises. Weird. Okay, we'll just call it that. Fine. Yeah. Ooh, stinger. Who that? The cold wind blows from the south. That's probably one of the eyes. And the smell of something ancient carries on the breeze. that the world may finally be in motion. Winter is coming. Mustn't get too hasty. We've been tricked before. This music is awesome. But the eye of Mantilla has never been light until now. Yager is coming home. That much is clear. City. It's all like weird and futuristic looking. We shall see. I've been waiting for this a long time. I suppose it's true what they say. Family makes you wait the longest. Neat. Cool. Yeah. That's about uh, just about perfect timing, too. All right. So I will have to figure out what I'm going to play next week. Uh, I gotta, I've gotta, I'm got. I've got. i going to either remember what I plan to do or put up another straw poll. So keep an eye out for that. Um, and um, yeah. So look forward to a new adventure game next week, next Monday. Um... Next Monday is also when I start my new job. Uh, I don't think it will impact my stream schedule. Uh, I shouldn't, like, be home any later than usual, so... Um, should... everything should be normal, still. Um, I will, of course, make sure to, to let you all know if anything changes. Um, thank you! <laughs> yeah, new job. I hope so, too. It, it seems like a really cool one, so I'm looking forward to seeing, uh, seeing how it goes. 
So, uh, yeah, so I will see you guys tomorrow for more Lamplight City, um, and Wednesday for Reseteer. And, yeah, thank you for coming by, and, uh, I hope you enjoyed Quest for Infamy. I did, despite, despite some of the, like, as I mentioned, I'm not, not a big fan of the, to the toilet humor or the, or the, the kind of, the, the, some, the, there were some jokes that punched down, and I'm like, eh, you know what, you don't need to do that, but... Eh, I've seen worse. Maybe the next game in the series will uh, will be better uh, in that regard. Um, yeah, so let's see. Let's find someone to raid while I send you off on a new a new journey of of streamy goodness. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, let's see. What do we got going on? Ooh, Draken for PC. Hmm, Life is Strange. Yeah, you know what? Draken is one of those weird older games that I'm, like, fascinated by. I've, like, never seen much of it. Let's go over there. Zetsubera. Yeah. Send you over to him. And, um... Some of them did. There were like some like fat jokes or and like some somewhat some some kind of misogynist jokes. So thank you, Dr. Hugo. Thank you for the bits. Very much. Many, many, many thanks. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, like it wasn't that bad. It was just some things maybe go, maybe don't do that. <laughs> but like I said, it could have been worse. Could have been better. Could have been worse. Um, but overall, yeah, I enjoyed this game. Uh, definitely support um, Infamous Quests because he's a cool dude and uh, and yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what he comes up with next. Um, looking forward to the next game in this series. Really looking forward to uh, uh, his, the next um, Order of the Thorn game. Um, I streamed that a while back and, and I really want to see more of that. So anyway, yeah, like I said, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And enjoy the rest of your night. Later.